channel my name is Ronnie if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for all the support you have shown me all my old subscribers I'm very grateful thank you now today's video is all about how I use the Jessa brushes to do a makeup look in my previous video when I reviewed the brushes a lot of you asked what you wanted to see me do a makeup look with it and how the brushes felt and things like that so today I'm going to be using these brushes strictly to have a just simple everyday makeup look and see how it goes now just sit down and let's get into the video I've already gone ahead to do my brows so now I'm going to start with my eyes and I'm just going to make an everyday cool makeup look warm makeup look sorry so it nothing's like really flamboyant something you can wear to work or you can just wear daily okay so now i'm using the 24 hour smashbox prime eye primer to prime my eyes i love using this product because it really gives me that clean canvas for eyeshadows on my eyelid it's one of the best products I've used. I love the uh, paint pot, the soft ochre paint pot, as well as this Smashbox. So I either use the soft ochre or I use this Smashbox. This is the this is the concealer buffer. So the concealer buffer, but it's a little bit smaller. So I prefer I would prefer using it to buff the primer on my eyelid. So now I'm going to be using makeup from this Zoeva Coco Blend Makeup Palette. It's a Zoeva palette. It's called Coco Blend Makeup Palette. Sorry, it's really nasty because I've been using it. So I'm going to start transitioning with this color right here. And this color is Substitute for Love. And I would use the lux crease to start putting in the transition color like i said they were soft in my previous video they are really soft brushes good good quality for their price and it actually packs on the eyeshadow color onto the eyelid to be honest with you from what it's doing right here it's really a good buy so i'm just using circular motions to put on the eyeshadow building it up until i get to the exact tone or shade I want the eyeshadow the transition color to look like the brushes are actually doing the work they are supposed to do it's really blending this eyeshadow perfectly the makeup look today is not gonna be anything too flamboyant or anything too out there it's just a makeup look you can wear any day anytime to work to church to just everyday makeup look so and I love my nudes if you all know so I'm still going to be using my my everyday nude colors so I'm going to take the the soft crease and just it's clean so I'm just going to blend out those sharp edges so I'm going to go in with the petite crease the petite crease I'm going to use for the outer corners of my eye just to darken it a little bit and I'm using the freshly toasted from the Zoeva palette this is the freshly toasted I'm going to be using this just on the outer corners of my eyes now I'm going to take the the soft definer with a subtle blend color and put all over the eyelid the subtle blend color is a bit color is a bit dark so I'll be putting a putting on a lighter one afterwards but first of all I'm going to put the soft the subtle blend all over the eyelid since it's an everyday look I don't want anything too out out of place so I'm going to just use this all over the eyelid and use my Lux Soft Crease to blend out any of the harsh lines that I see 
so the transition is very smooth nothing sharp so now I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this I don't want anything too out of the ordinary these brushes are doing its job they are doing perfectly well they are blending out as expected and they are packing on the colors very nicely so now I'm just gonna line my eyes and I will be using Juvia's Place eyeliner in jet black to line my eyes with the winged liner brush so I'm using the winged liner brush to line my eye I usually use the pencil gel liners but I'm just trying out this this one because I want to see how it will work this gel liner is actually doing its work but because this brush is a little bit too big it's not giving me that very sharp wing that I want so I'm just gonna leave it like that so I don't spoil it I will try as best as I can to do the other eyes now okay so it looks good I'm not going to touch it. The brush is a little too big for me to use for my wing line. I prefer very tinier brushes for my wing line, but it still did the work. It's still good. It's just it's a bit too big. I would have used a smaller one, which is I would have used a smaller one like this, which is the the detailed liner, but I chose to use this. I won't use this again. I would always use this if I want to do my wing line. But, but it still did the job now I'm just gonna put in my mascara and this is the Fenty Beauty mini mascara the kiss eyelashes in Fletty so I'm gonna do my eyelashes off camera and I'll be back now I'm gonna do highlight my inner tear dots by using the Lux pencil brush and I would use the pure ganache from the palettes to highlight my inner table. That's the pure ganache. These brushes really pick up colors very well. Very well. So I've already primed my face. I'm just going to go in and use the buffer brush to buff out my foundation and I'm using the Zoeva foundation okay you see the brush is actually blending the foundation perfect so I'm just stapling it on it I don't want to use so much foundation because it's an everyday wear look even though this foundation is full coverage like you see I just dotted a couple of dots on my face and see it just is doing the work already so I'm just gonna use the face shape brush to buff in my concealer and the concealer I'm going to use is the Zoeva is the Zoeva concealer so I'm going to use the foundation stick to contour my face I'm going to try and use it to also buff out my contour and it doesn't take much to just buff everything out you can see how blended my face is so now I'm going to um, set wherever I put the concealer on so I will use my Sasha Buttercup to set I'm going to use my Revlon powder so I'm using the the powder brush now to do that so I'm going to go now to do my lower lash line nothing so dram like dramatic just something simple and nice and I'm going to use the smudger brush to put on the freshly toasted color it's freshly toasted my lower lash so I'm going to use the Tarte 
pencil for my waterline. I like this because it's, it's short, small and it gets in there so easily. So I'm using the Black Hawk bronzer. This my bronzer is so dirty. The Black Hawk bronzer. And I'm using the Defined Buffer to put the bronzer on my face. Whoever made the rules of makeup, you can use, do whatever you like, right? Makeup has no rules. I'm using my Luminoso from Milani for my cheeks. And I'm using the Sheer Cheek Brush to do that. Now this, um, this blush is a little bit too light. I'm just going to put it, then I'll put something else on it. So I'm going to add the Milani and this is the powder blush in Awakening Pose. Awakening Pose. Now I'm going to highlight my cheeks with my Becca Oldie but a goodie Becca highlighter and this is in Champagne Pop and I'm using the highlighter brush that's the highlighter brush so I'm going to highlight my nose I like my Cupid's bow. So I'm going to be using this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in True, uh, True Instant Color in number 4, All Natural. I'm going to be using my Annabelle Big Show Lip Liner. I'm not going to be using any lipstick or anything else. So I'm just going to spray my face with, it's the Maybelline Lasting Fit Makeup Setting Spray. Now guys, this is the final look. Like I said, it's an everyday wear. Yes, for those of you who don't wear that much makeup, it might look too much for an everyday wear. But it is also subtle in a way where you can wear it for your work you can wear it to church you can wear it just daily outing for dinner and stuff like that now if you don't wear that much makeup you can turn it down the beat no one is against you turning it down the beat makeup is there's no hard and fast rule to makeup now like i said the most important thing is how these brushes perform these brushes did the work they were expected to do for the price 43.99 they are amazingly good they did, they blended very well. The eyeshadow brushes blended very well. The foundation brush did blend very well. Spread my, my foundation wherever and everywhere I wanted it to be. Now these brushes, like I said, I don't know how much they are in your country, but in the in Canada, um, Amazon Canada, it's $43.99. You can check and see if they have it in your country. I know in Amazon Canada, it was only the pink I could get. But in the US Canada, Amazon US, they have the black, the pink, and I think the white, I'm not so sure. Then again, I'm going to leave the link, I got it in the description box. You can use that link to trace if you have these brushes in your home country, if you're interested in buying these brushes. Now, I don't have any affiliate codes or anything like that, so you using the link has absolutely nothing to do with me. I'm just helping you to trace these brushes and see if you can get it in your home country, Amazon. Now, thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for coming back. And if you like this look, please don't forget to hit on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, like I said, please, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will get no newly notified each time I post a new video. Don't miss out on all the lovely videos I'll be putting out, please. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.